the immortal John Hancock here, and I am sharing with you Contra Operation Galuga Demo. This is coming out March 12th on all major platforms, Steam, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, S, X, and you know, I'm playing, showing you the Switch version here, and I want to give you my thoughts, and this is being developed by WayForward and published by Konami. And wanted to show lots of different uh, game options, arcade and story mode, up to four players, three difficulty settings, and you can have a, a, a health meter or do one hit kills. And so yeah, up to uh, five different players that you can select from. And I'm gonna go with kind of a more traditional Contra character. And uh, there's perks. And you can sacrifice uh, even weapons in the game uh, for a special attack, which I don't do. Uh, the gameplay footage is from uh, just my first experience with the demo. And the demo is available now on all major platforms. You can check it out. Game is going to be 40 bucks. It's 10% off, at least on the Switch eShop right now. And Limited Run is offering the physical release. So for people that are curious about that. I always get a comment. Hey, is it going to be a physical release? Yes. From Limited Run. So, um, which means you'll probably get it next year. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, maybe not. Anyways, uh, anyways, so we're going to move forward to this. Uh, yeah, so uh, this looks to be like a re-imaging of at least the first level of the first game. And I grew up with the Nintendo version of Contra. Now there's lots of Contra on the market. There's the Anniversary Collection, which is fantastic. Lots of the classic Contras all together. Different region versions too. And it's it's great. I covered that on my channel. And uh, you know there was a Contra on the Switch. They definitely took a different direction with that. And it's pretty bad game. That's the thing with Contras. Sometimes they're hit and miss. Uh, when I think of like a more modern Contra that I like, I think of the DS Contra. That that was really awesome. Loved it. Now, I uh, just noticed there, and in the demo, I, I'm going to call them micro stutters, but there's these like, I don't know what it is, these pauses right there. There's another one. That is definitely something hopefully WayForward can fix in, a, in an update. And I don't know if that's just the Switch version. Uh, in the comments, let me know. If you, if you check this demo out on other platforms, uh, is there performance issues? So I don't, I don't know what that's about. Um, there's been some online comments about the graphics. And uh, I don't know, the graphics seem okay. It doesn't seem like it's pushing anything. It's that 2.5D um, I don't think it takes away from, uh, you know, a classic Contra game. Uh, I've seen worse. But it's just okay. You know, I'm always going to be a fan of hand-drawn graphics, but, you know, I grew up in that era. Sprites and hand-drawn graphics, to me, uh, is all, I'm always going to prefer that. But I'm old school. Definitely in the comments below, below let me know like or hate the graphics definitely has that kind of android kind of just okay look to it uh, you know switch is going on gonna be seven years that is a long time it's definitely uh, ready to have a upgrade or a sequel and, uh, you know, but it's nice that, you know, Nintendo and publishers are still going to fully support the Switch. I think for at least a couple years. I think it's going to be viable on the market for a little bit longer. But definitely it's getting long in the tooth. I'll do a video on that and talk about that. But I just wanted to show the demo. I wanted to show kind of what my thoughts are of this. Uh, that's that's a nice look right there. I like the vegetation in the background there. One more down. So yeah, I think there's aspects of the artwork that are okay, and and other ones that don't 
that just look okay. So, they definitely lengthened the first level, and that's nice to see. Uh, difficulty is pretty, pretty tough. I wonder how challenging this would be to play with four players. I like the aspect of having two main weapons and choosing back and forth. I do believe that was in, uh, introduced in Contra 3. Love the homing. Always a favorite. Spread. That's kind of cool. It's kind of a uh, more difficult semi, a uh, sub boss. That's cool. Lots of things to hurt you. Yeah, that's the challenge, I think, if you have four different characters moving around, avoiding everything that can hurt you. Now, I chose to play with a hit bar. I think it makes it a little bit more manageable. Normal difficulty, by the way. Just getting schooled here. It's almost too much that's like going on here. I think in a playing with four players, I just wonder about that. But for people that like that tough, tough difficulty, it's kind of tough too because you make it too easy and people complain. You make it too hard, uh, some people will complain. But the people that like the challenge, Contra was always a pretty tough game, and you know it had a Konami code in it, so to make it easier. I wonder if this has it. I didn't try it. That boulder there, that does not look good. <laughs> Graphic wise, just kind of stands out. It's kind of, I don't know, just. Yeah, the um, Graphics are just okay. I don't know if I, I hate them. It's just kind of kind of standard, I guess would would be the word I would use. Just kind of your your normal kind of switch graphics. And you know, switch is definitely on the low end of graphic capabilities now of all major platforms. So it's definitely ready for an upgrade. Teleport? I don't know what happened there. Huh. So yeah, I'm definitely noticing, as I mentioned before, the micro stutters. Um, I'm seeing it from time to time. I don't know what that's about. If it's loading assets or, you know, I'm not using technical jargon. But yeah, right there, that was a stutter. It was a stutter and uh, everything just kind of pauses for in the load stuff. I don't know what that's about. Hopefully they can address that with an update, but I am noticing it. I think with an intense game such as Contra, th those type of things are more noticeable. Okay, this is another part of the first game that they've incorporated. So it looks like they've combined a couple levels into one level. This is probably the boss for the first Stage. It's probably the end of the demos after this. That looks good, though. That. that definitely looks pretty good. Added a tail. I don't remember the tail being in the first game. Kind of like a 3D aspect to it. I like that they're pretty generous with weapons to choose kind of what you uh, get and in the first game you know you once you got a different weapon you were stuck with it so i like that you have some choice here definitely didn't sacrifice one of my weapons for like a special ability and i know that that is uh something that you can do so in the comments below let me know what do you think of this are you going to check it out available march 12 40 bucks if you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you take care.